Hello everyone, I am Chase, a Rocky Mountain ATVMC, and this is our full coverage Roost Deflector Buyer's Guide. Alright everyone, thanks for tuning in. In this video today, we're going to show you five great options for what we consider over-the-jersey roost deflectors. There is a lot that we offer at Rocky Mountain. There's different options that you have to choose from as far as coverage goes. There are ones that are going to be more low profile, meant to be more worn underneath the jersey. We have a top five for that category, so give that a watch if you are looking for low profile. But today in this video, we're focusing more on roost deflectors that offer a little bit more coverage and what we consider over-the-jersey fitment. So if that's what you're in the market for, this video will give you a really good starting point. So we're going to start out with the low end of the price. We're going to work our way up. And remember, if you have questions or comments about any of the ones that we talk about today, leave those below and we will get your questions answered. And without further ado, let's start with Roost Deflector number one. All right, so to get started, Roost Deflector number one is the Revel Race Off-Road coming from Fly Racing. Price point on this year, about 145 bucks. Now, my only nitpick with the Revel Race Off-Road, there's only one size. It's an adult size, but use Daniel here as a sizing reference. 175 pounds, 40 inch chest, about six feet, one inches tall. You can see how it fits him, but remember, Roost Deflectors are not a apparel item. We have our fit guarantee. So if you get any one that we sell, if you're not happy with the size or fit, send it back in brand new unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. But here's what I like about the Revel Race Off-Road. It's offered in two different colorways, black and a white. You can see it's got a good amount of coverage in the front. This front's going to be CE certified for sto as a stone shield, not for impacts, but you are CE certified for impacts with the back protector. But you've got a good amount of coverage, a lot of ventilation, you've got shoulder protection, you've got arm protectors here. These are removable, very easy to take off. But if Daniel turned the face of the back for me here, here's what I like about this. Remember, this back piece, CE certified for impacts. You'll also notice here that you have this piece. This is actually removable and inside here, there's actually some foam padding that you can pull out. A lot of riders will ask, well, is this compatible with neck braces? They did a good job with this one because you can remove this piece, you can remove the foam that's underneath it, and then the back supports of the neck brace will just fit right inside here. You can also just take off this entire plastic piece if you did want to, and that would make it even a little bit more, more low profile, but you do lose that CE rating for impacts. Face back to the front, Daniel. And then going along with that in the front, You've got this insert right here, which will also remove, so that way the front of the neck brace can sit close to the rider's chest. So overall, with the Revel Race Off-Road, I like it. I think it's a fair price point for what you're getting here. And also not to mention, if you did want to wear this underneath your jersey, it's not going to be overly bulky, in my opinion. Again, that's the Revel Race Off-Road from Fly Racing. All right, option number two. This is the Bionic Roost Deflector from Alpine Stars. This is a newer option in the Roost Deflector lineup. They came out with this in 2019. And I actually think Alpine Stars did a really good job with this one. It's very lightweight. They actually use what they call their grid technology. You can see here in the front. So it's got a lot of perforation going through, but this is one of probably the lighter options that's available in the lineup that we're showing you today. So I like the feel, the fit of this. Now, this is gonna be CE rated in the chest as well as the back. You have shoulder protection here. This is also gonna be CE rated. This is removable. And then if Daniel turns and faces the side, lifts up the arm real quick, you do have a little bit of padding that wraps around the rib cage, that kidney area right here. My only nitpick with this, I just wish that this protection here at this price point, I wish they would offer a little bit more hard plastic coverage here on the sides. But Daniel, turn and face the back for me. Here in the back though, if you're going to be wearing a neck brace with this roost deflector, what I like is that this back insert right here, you can see this is removable, you just pop this tab, this pops out. So if you're wearing the Alpine Stars neck brace, you will offer better fitment when it comes to the back supports here. Alright, Daniel, turn face the front. So again, this is the Bionic roost deflector from Alpine Stars. The pros of this, very lightweight, very comfortable. If you remove those shoulder pads, I think this actually pretty be a pretty low profile option if you did want to wear this underneath the jersey. I just, again, wish it had a little bit more coverage right here on the sides, but other than that, rock solid. That's the Bionic Roost Deflector from Alpine Stars. All right, up next is the 5955 from Troy Lee Designs. Now keep in mind with this, there's two different options. There's a 5955 that we're showing you today. They also do have the 5900, which is going to be the more low profile option. I actually own that one. It's one of my favorites. And with the 5955, this is going to be one of the more low profile options that we're showing you today. So if you are looking for one that's not going to appear too bulky underneath the jersey, this is going to be one of the better options. Price point on this, you jump up a little bit, you're just about 200 bucks. My only nitpick with the 5955 is that at that price, you're not 
not CE certified in the chest, shoulders, arms, or back. So just something to keep in mind. But here's what I love about this one is the fitment of it. So the way they constructed this, you've got hard plastic on the outside. You have shock doctor foam underneath, which is very comfortable against the skin. But the way they designed this, it's actually, you can see you've got hinges here on the side. So it fits the contour of the body nicely. It's just a very comfortable roost deflector. You'll notice you have the shoulder protection. You've got arm protection coming down the sides. But also what's nice about this, you have some good modularity. So like I said, I have the 5900. And what I like about it, it has really good fitment with a neck brace. So what you can do, if you're going to be rocking a neck brace with this, this upper chest plate right here, you see you've got these two screws. You pop those out. This upper piece is removable to offer good fitment with the neck brace. Turn to face the back, Daniel. And then as you look in the back here, you can see that this whole piece right here is also removable. That will allow good fitment with the back support of the neck brace as well. Then you can see all the way down to the bottom. And then just like I talked about at the front, this has a, more of a hinge design to it. So it's not going to bind on the rider as they're working on the bike. And then quarter turn for me, Daniel. So these arm protectors right here, these are also removable if you do want to take those off. Again, that's just going to be rider preference. And then all the way back to the front. So again, this is the 5955 Detroit Designs, one of my favorites. I just wish it was CE rated, but other than that, I love the fitment. I like the modularity that you're getting with this piece. All right, next up, we have the Fox Racing Raptor Vest CE Roost Deflector. The next two options that we're going to show you really are the ultimate as far as how much coverage and protection you're getting. So if that's what you're going to market for, these are going to be a great option. So with the Raptor Vest CE Roost Deflector, Daniel here, he's wearing a size medium. I'm not going to lie, when Daniel put this on, the first words out of his mouth were, I feel safe. So you're getting a lot of coverage here. What I like about this, your CE level two for impacts in the chest as well as the back. So you got a lot of coverage here. You got shoulder protection, arm protection. Shoulder and arm protection is removable. Daniel, turn and face the side, lift up that arm for me. And you will notice, compared to the other ones that we have shown you, a lot more rib, rib coverage here. So that CE level two wraps all the way around the rib cage. Daniel faces all the way to the back. There we, you will see just how much coverage and how much protection you are getting. So hard plastic shell. Underneath this, you're not going to be able to see it, but there is a pad that's about three quarters to an inch thick, and that's what's giving that CE level two impact for the back as well as the chest. All right, face the front, Daniel. So with the Raptor vest, price point, you're going to be just north of the $200 mark. The pros of this, excellent coverage front to back around the, ri the rib cage. You're going to have CE level two in the front and back. My only cons is that one, it's a little bit heavy, but you have to take in consideration how much protection you're getting. Also, important to note when it comes to neck brace fitment, that this is not, in my opinion, going to be the best option just because this chest plate here in the top, as well as here in the back, those are not removable. So you'd have to wear your neck brace essentially underneath the roost deflector once you have it on. But aside from that, if you're looking to get a lot of coverage, excellent impact protection, this would be a great option. All right, next up, last but not least, we have the Liat 5.5 Pro HD. Again, if you're looking for the maximum amount of coverage before you step up to just a full protection jacket, this will be one of the better options. You do bump up in price, you're going to be about $230, so it is an investment, but I think that jump in price compared to the one from Fox we just showed you is justified because there are some features about this that I really do like. So Daniel here, he is wearing the adult size. That's for riders from 150 to 190 pounds. They do have one size larger than that. So just look at your weight and that's how they go off the size reference. But here in the front, you can see hard plastic shield, a lot of cutouts for max ventilation, your CE level two for impacts in the front as well as the rear, just like with that one from Fox. However, here's a big difference. The shoulder protection, is quite a bit larger than that Raptor vest from Fox, and this is going to be CE level one for impact. So now you're getting that impact protection in the shoulder area. However, I wish, would be nice if maybe they had a little bit of bicep coverage coming down, just again, because you're making such a big investment here. But the shoulder pads are removable if you do want to. Daniel, turn to the side, lift up this arm for me. You can see that protection around the rib cage wraps all the way around. I'd actually say this offers even a little bit more coverage than that Raptor vest that we had just shown you. And then turn to the back, Daniel. And here in the back, you can see, again, really good coverage, top all the way down to the bottom, lots of cutouts for ventilation. Now up here at the top, this is another big difference that I want to point out is neck brace compatibility. Obviously, Liat, they're known for the neck braces, so they want to make sure you can get good fitment with this roost deflector. So you notice that you have this piece right here. You've got the outline in black. In between this and the piece that's actually contacting Daniel's back, there's a foam insert. If you want to, you can pull that foam insert out, and then the back supports of the neck brace will just sit right inside here. It just allows good fitment with the neck brace so it gets as close to the rider's body as possible. Turn the face back to the front, Daniel. 
Now, just like with the back, you'll notice right here with this chest piece, again, same concept. I can actually take my fingers and get them inside there. That way, the chest supports of the neck brace will rest right inside here, getting that close to the body and get the best fitment possible. And lastly, you'll notice that they have their neck brace system here with these elastic straps. So you put the neck brace on, you can use these to cinch those or put those on the neck brace to hold that in place. And then underneath those, you'll notice that you do have these Velcro straps here to give some good adjustability as far as where this will sit on the rider's body. Again, that is the 5.5 Pro HD from Liat, the ultimate amount of coverage, but also offering really good, or really good fitment if you want to rock a neck brace. All right, everyone, thanks for checking out this top five full coverage rooster deflectors. Remember, if you have questions or comments, leave those below. We'll get your questions answered. And if you own one of the rooster deflectors that we talked about today, well, leave your feedback below. It's going to help other riders out. To pick up your next one, real simple, click on the link or head over to rockymountatvmc.com. Also remember, if maybe full coverage ain't your thing, you're looking for a more low profile option, we have our top five low profile roost deflector video, so give that a watch as well. Orders over $75 ship free. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, that way you always stay up to date on the latest gear guides, product reviews, how-to videos that we are constantly filming here at Rocky Mountain. I am Chase, we'll see you on the trails. <laughs>